Hey guys, so today we're doing Ariana Grande again because Ariana Grande just doesn't care. And I wanna talk about that. I wanna talk about the fact that she just like doesn't care about this whole situation and it shows. So subscribe to the bell icon for engagement and let's get into Ariana Grande tea. I hope this ends soon because once I get past like three videos on one topic, I'm like, we gotta wrap this up. We have got to wrap this up. So I've been following this on different, I have like two articles to read for you guys. I've got some de moi, tea i've got some tweets so let's just get into everything the first thing i just want to announce is that in all of this Ariana Grande has announced that she's dropping a new perfume on august 13th so Ariana Grande announces new fragrance cloud pink coming august 13th and here are her instagram stories about it i mean i'm sure there were some contractual obligations to do with that which is fine because obviously she sent some contracts she said she's going to announce it for the august 13th i bet she had to do it like that's not whatever it's not that crazy but it's just like there wasn't a, it just seems like there wasn't even like an attempt to like maybe push it back a little bit. I mean, if I was her, I would just push it back just because it's just such a not good look. But she's here just announcing her perfume in the middle of the cheating scandal. I like how I just jumped into the topic, assuming that everyone knows what's going on. Um, if you guys don't know, Ariana Grande has been married since kind of like COVID to Dalton Gomez and they are just separated now. And she is allegedly in a relationship with Ethan Slater, who is her co-star for Wicked, who was just in a long-term marriage with someone else, Lily and they have a child together, like a fresh baby. And there seems to be a bit of an overlap in that whole situation, which I have discussed. I mean, Ethan Slater's ex-wife is talking to all the different news outlets, giving them her kind of side of things. Um, she's usually the source. And she said that Ariana Grande is not a girl's girl. And if someone said that about me, I would cry. So I don't know how Ariana Grande is, you know, but like I said in my last video, I think I was talking about this in my last video, Ariana Grande has a, a history of going for taken men. Um, every single relationship she was in, there was an allegation of cheating and her being the side chick and then becoming the main chick and then yeah, 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 whatever. So this is clearly just something that she really enjoys doing. And actually on Do We Know Them, they had a boson recently, who is one of my favorite YouTubers. And she discussed kind of the psychology behind Ariana Grande and like why she behaves the way she behaves. And I thought it was really interesting, so. So she did that and then I went on Reddit and Dumois posted an update about Ariana Grande and Ethan Slater and they said, when exactly did Ariana Grande's marriage end and her affair with Ethan Slater begin? Uh, back in April, an exclusive source shared some information about Dalton Gomez with Dumois, met him and his friends a month ago and he was honestly so nice. He was gushing over his wife. He did say that he was with her for five months but had to come back for work. So what's the deal? When did this relationship take, take a turn? According to the source, um, Ariana and Dalton were still together in March, just this week, an additional source tells Demois they were absolutely not separated Ethan and Lily um, it's been going on for six months behind Lily's back finally someone on set told her two weeks ago not sure who apparently Ariana apparently Ariana has become friends with Lily and was hanging out at their house playing with their baby as this was going on also Lily isn't a single like TMZ reported she's a doctor and left her job to support him in London I hope Ariana isn't a believer in karma because yikes and like the the idea of Ariana like holding their baby inside of their house and this like Lily is just postpartum she's clearly sacrificing a lot to help Ethan with, with his career for him to then cheat on her in his career that she's helping him with I hope Karma does what Karma does best to both of them. I can't even like listen to Ariana Grande music right now because it just makes me feel icky and yucky and just like, ooh. And the replies to this being posted on Reddit, people said, after seeing Taylor Swift come out with the Matt Healy thing unscathed, I'm convinced these white pop girlies can get away with anything at this point. Yet people have already forgotten and forgiven Taylor. I saw so many Swifties be like, I don't know how to proceed forward as a fan after all of this and then promptly just ignored it and returned to standing her. I know, I haven't. I still listen to her, but I don't know how anyone can be, oh, poor baby didn't know she was being silly, gross spying people. And it's hilarious. Um, they've forgiven her when she's even basically said that she might be with him in the future with no sympathy or condemning, condemning of his racist and misogynistic behavior. So that happened. Page six then reported recently that Ariana Grande, a strange husband, Dalton Gomez, went on several double dates with Ethan Slater and his wife, report. Before she said thank you next to her estranged husband, Ariana Grande allegedly took him on several double dates with her now boyfriend, Ethan Slater, and his now estranged wife. A source claimed to dailymail.com on Thursday that the Wicked co-star turned secret lovers spent time together with their respective then spouses, Dalton Gomez and Lily J, whenever they would visit them on the London set. 
According to the source, these get-togethers took place on multiple occasions while the singer and the Broadway star allegedly carried on their own dalliance. Um, Arna and Dalton went on double dates with Ethan and Lily several times and they were seen out by cast members, the source said. Lily and Ethan also met Arna's family together, including her mum and her brother. Like, they were literally doing the most disgusting type of cheating. Like, the type of cheating where you're rubbing it almost in the other person's face because they don't know, but you know. And you're making everyone hang out together. So you're making... And the thing is, they're both cheating on partners. It's not just, like, a one-sided cheating. Like, Arna's cheating on Dalton and... Ethan's cheating on Lily. So they're cheating together while they're making their partners meet each other and meet the person that they're cheating with. This is absolutely diabolical, disgusting. Makes me feel sick. The source went on to claim that Grande 30 and Slater 31 were so sloppy during filming that the majority of the wicked castmates knew about their relationship. They were seen being all over each other while he was still supposedly happily married to Lily, the source said, noting that the couple's alleged carelessness extended beyond the set they were seen making out at a pub in Hampstead and they were all over each other at Michelle's Oscar party in March Daily Mail obtained multiple photos of the pair hanging out together quite a bit while the film adaptation of the hit Broadway musical was in production including a seemingly intimate shot from the Oscar party aerial pictures from the set taken in May show the duo strolling towards their trailers while the source claimed they would often spend one-on-one -on -one time together images from June show the Grammy winner with her why do they write these articles so weird just say Ariana Grande why the Grammy winner what's that got to do with absolutely anything I hate the way articles are written these days images from June show Ariana Grande with her arm around Ethan Slater at a members only club Soho Farmhouse in the UK where they celebrated her 30th birthday so like was Dalton not there. A source previously claimed to the outlet that Grande hung out with Jay and the baby boy she shares with Slater months before the alleged affair was exposed. Ariana was apparently so charmed by the newborn that she allegedly told those around her that she wanted a baby of her own one day. It's almost like she's trying to steal Lily's life. Like, I feel like Ariana doesn't really know what she wants from relationships or what she wants from love. And this is me psychoanalyzing her now because she's probably just never been in like a super healthy, I'm not saying her relationships were toxic or abusive, but maybe she just wasn't in a relationship that was super like both-sided. Like, I don't think she's ever been in like a super healthy, secure attached relationship. And so she will see a relationship happen that she thinks is looking good. And then she will be like, I want that. Instead of just having that with someone else, She'll decide to then slot herself into the woman's position to try and like take over that relationship. So she saw Lydia and Ethan with their baby boy enjoying themselves. She went on double dates with them. She went to their house, held the baby and felt like I want this. And instead of having that with Dalton, she then basically just pushed Lily out the way and jumped in and wants to take over with Ethan. Somehow like thinking that that's just gonna happen. She's just gonna like slot into position. It's so weird. Page six confirmed last month that Grande and Gomez were divorcing after two years of marriage with an insider telling us they'd been separated since January. However, neither has filed the paperwork. Days later, we confirmed she was dating Slater with a source claiming to TMZ that they'd been seeing each other for several months. Not even a week later, Slater filed for divorce from Jay after nearly five years of marriage. In a subsequent interview with page six, Jay branded Grande as not a girl's girl and said that she and her son were simply collateral damage neither Grande nor Slater have addressed the various reports now they did post about the fact that Ariana Grande Ariana Grande's boyfriend Ethan Slater files for divorce from wife Lily J and that was a few days before that so so he has filed for divorce from his wife in New York TMZ was the first to report the news uh, the most recent development comes nearly a week after his relationship with the wicked co-star Ariana Grande was exposed last week page six confirmed that the actors have been dating for several months after meeting on the set of blah blah so apparently Dalton even made a trip down to London to save his marriage but per a source it didn't work out so he could kind of probably tell that things were on the rocks and he tried to fix it and then he came over and she was probably just like no they've been really good friends throughout the entire process and their friends and families have been trying to protect them though Gomez was reportedly devastated by the split he has moved on TMC reported that he has been dating other people for months following their split which is what people people have seen Gomez with other women and decided to then excuse Ariana Grande's behavior because he has moved on but like he was literally cheated on so he can move on however quickly he wants. Meanwhile, separate sources exclusively told Page Six that Slater's estranged wife was blindsided by his relationship with Grande. It's horrible, they were high school sweethearts, they have a baby, she's a wreck. The insider told us that they believe the position singer is the reason for Jay and the Broadway star split as they suddenly break up now when nothing appeared wrong between them. Um, that's awful. Like, I can't even imagine, I can't even begin to imagine how, how awful that was for Lily. Though a source told TMZ that Jay feels like a strange husband has completely turned his back on his family to be with the Grande, other sources told Page Six that those claims are completely untrue. Jay and Slater, who celebrated their 10 year anniversary together, the couple last November, tied the knot in 2018 and welcomed their son together last year. Um, and he is filing for divorce. Now, I'm assuming it was Ethan Slater, well, 
it probably was him as like, because Lydia has been kind of the source for a lot of these articles. He's probably coming in and trying to like overcorrect what she says. So page six also reported that Ethan Slate is devastated that his wife feels he abandoned family for Ana Grande. But like, what did you do? And what did you want her to feel? And the thing is their son isn't even a year old. He's 11 months old. So like, this is literally a fresh baby. Like they freshly welcomed a child on earth. And he's like, just betraying her for Ariana Grande. This is disgusting. According to the insider, Jay's heart is most broken over the fact that her young son won't have both his mom and dad around constantly. Jay and Slater reportedly aren't on good terms now because she feels he has completely turned his back on his family to be with a musician. Sources tell Page Six exclusively, however, that the insider's claims that Slater abandoned his family are completely untrue. And they also talk about how Slater had shown no public signs of trouble in his marriage as recently as two months ago, which obviously just because we see stuff on social media doesn't make it true. But in May, he wished Jay a happy first Mother's Day and called her the most loving, caring and wonderful mum slash person in the world. And then in November, he also proudly celebrated their fourth wedding anniversary. Anniversary. My best friend four years married 10 years together and this is easily the best and most bizarre year yet While Jay is seemingly struggling with the fact that Slater is dating someone new so soon A separate source told TMZ Wednesday that it's understandable that emotions are high It's hard seeing your ex move on especially in such a public way and her friends are trying to protect her But Ari and Ethan are just trying to lay low and be respectful of their exes as they pursue their new relationship And then that's it. So in all of this people are saying like how soon is Ariana Grande going to get bored? I mean Dalton was her longest relationship and it was two years. Um I don't think she's she wants to stay with Ethan. I think, like I said, she wanted to slot into a life that she really liked, but without realizing that when she slots in, the life is going to change because now he he is going to be co-parenting with someone else. Like he was, she wasn't just going to take over Lily's position. Cosmopolitan reported that Ariana Grande has given Ethan Slater space to deal with Lily J drama, which to me makes it sound like she's slowly backing out because this whole like, why would anyone? This has all been exposed now. They might as well just go full force with their relationship. But the fact that she's like, oh, I'm gonna. Um, it makes it sound like she kind of didn't expect any of this to happen like almost she didn't like expect the backlash so now she's like oh i didn't expect this i thought i was just gonna have a baby boy and a husband ethan's in new york ari's heading to la and things continue to be messy so it turns out Ariana and Ethan haven't hung out in several weeks as Ethan's currently in New York where he filed for divorce and Ari's heading back to LA. TMZ sources say that they are 100% still dating and want to see each other. It's just not possible like right at this very moment. And that's pretty much it. I'm not going to read the rest of the article because then I'm just going to be reading forever. But that's basically the gist and I just have a feeling that Ariana Grande doesn't care. She wanted to slip into this relationship quietly without much backlash but because there was finally backlash. I feel like Ariana's never really been called out in the past fully for only going for taken men and this time she's really been called out and i think she just expects to like slot into this relationship just like every other time every other time that she has gone for a taken man she would just gently slot into relationships with him and then leave him for someone else and do the same thing whereas this time things are a lot more difficult and i think maybe she just didn't really expect that and it's throwing her off a little bit so i wonder where this is gonna go i have not too much faith for this relationship but prove me wrong i guess um subscribe to the like for engagement and i'll see you in my next one bye guys